Welcome everyone back to Ohio Stadium here on an overcast and breezy day here in Columbus. Ready for this one between Northern Illinois and Ohio State, ranked number one in the country. A look at the temperature, 62 degrees. It was raining earlier this morning, but has stopped since. Northern Illinois has won the opening kickoff. Ohio State actually deferred to the second half, and we are ready to go. Marcus Perez back along with Britt Davis for the opening kick for the Huskies. This one five yards deep to Marcus Perez, who haven't had a chance to play regularly yet. First down and 10 for the Huskies to start things off. A little up and out, and Horvath looking downtown. This one out of bounds. We take a look at the starters for the Huskies. One of the keys, the three guys up front in the middle, the two guards and the center. Eddie Adamski has not yet snapped in a game live action yet except for that first play second down and 10 for northern illinois out of the backfield it's wolf got a nice block and wolf has some room garrett wolf with a first down out beyond midfield here we go at first down and 10 and we have some flags down in the field doug three moving prematurely for northern illinois 62, five yards, the down remains first. It's all set in. Here's a look at the defensive players for Ohio State. Freeman, Laurinaitis, and Kerr, the linebackers, replacing a stellar group in Carpenter, Schlegel, and Hawk. They are gone to the NFL. Wolf brought down to the 47-yard line, but won a very heated competition for the spot at the start of the year. Nice run that time by Wolf with third down and five. Horvath with a blitz coming off the edge, and they got to him. He sacked back at the 46-yard line. The lethality of number seven back there, Ted Ginn, and they almost got to the punter. Ginn gets it at the 13. And you hear the stadium light up. Starters offensively for the Buckeyes. So many key parts. Barton, one of them, on the offensive line. He's an all-conference candidate. And Antonio Pittman ran for over 1,300 yards a season ago for Ohio State. But they are very deep in the backfield. We'll see a number of guys at that spot today. Out of the shotgun on first and 10. Smith wide open. Complete down in the middle of the field. Took the conference last year in passing efficiency. First down and 10. They're going to give it to Pittman. Going over the left side of that offensive line of Husky defense. Along with Ken West with great pressure off the edges. And Uchtig was the leading tackler last year with 121 stops at his free safety spot for Northern Illinois. Pick up a few turnovers here early. Second and four, a little draw to Pittman. Has the first down and then some down to the 17-yard line. Quiet 1,300 yards last year. And he gets another call here. Pittman this time brought down after a gain of about two on for the Buckeyes. Second down and eight for Ohio State. Smith finds Gonzalez wide open over the middle. First and goal for Ohio State on their opening drive. Pittman plowing his way inside the five. Here they go on second and goal. Going to run a little option. Smith stopped up. And the Huskies do a nice job of stringing this one out. Third and goal for Ohio State. Smith with a quick drop. Touchdown, Ginn. An auspicious beginning to the season, carrying that lofty number one ranking, and right now leading 7 0. Smith, again, I have a sneaky feeling you'll be hearing that a lot this season. We'll be back right after this. You got to say a prayer. <laughs> Ted Ginn, that's the 20th consecutive game with a catch. This is Perez on the kickoff return for Northern Illinois, and he's brought down shy of the 20 yard line down and 10. We'll see if the Huskies can counter here with something. Little draw play. Wolf made the first guy miss, but not the second one. Second down and 12. Horvath 
Incomplete. No. 12 to go. Pressure coming off the edge. Horvath wisely threw it away. High snap. It's over a line drive punt. It's going to take a bounce out to the 42 yard line. On first and 10, a little play fake. And he's going downtown and has a man. Gin. Touchdown, Buckeyes. A perfectly thrown ball by Troy Smith. And 58 yards later, it is 14 to nothing. Northern Illinois can't afford to give away too many points too early. This one goes through the back of the end zone. The 35. Kick. Illegal block, number 24. Off the returning team, half the distance to the goal. First down. College football lives here. First down and 10. They hand it off to Wolf, and he is bottled up. They've really been leading the charge. They've been stiff against the runner. Second down and 12. Horvath, plenty of time, and sacked. Back at the three-yard line telephone. Third and 17. They hand it off to Wolf, running east-west. Snap last time that Dittbinner did a nice job to handle. And this one is shanked. And I mean shanked, folks. On his offense, looking to get the ball back. They hand it off to Pittman. And Pittman makes it down to the 17-yard line. Second and seven. And off the pick again, this time brought down to the 15 yard. Matched up against Hansborough. It's a touchdown against Dallas. You saw him in the nation. 21 love. Troy Smith, Heisman Trophy candidate. This time finding Gonzalez over the middle for the score. You're watching ESPN on ABC. Here in the first quarter, five for five. As you said, Jones, he's a pretty impressive start. And to think a season ago, he had to sit out the first game as Perez watches it go over his head. So far, nothing much happening for him. First down and 10. They run it underneath to Davis, and, and you got to start getting away from the running game. So. Second down and seven. They get Wolf into the passing game, got a nice block, and Garrett Wolf with space. And Wolf running by people. Garrett Wolf down to the 12-yard line. And they'll go back to that play until the Buckeyes can stop. Here's Wolf. They run it up the middle. Six addition. Second down and nine. Davis in motion. Picked off. It's intercepted. And Grant is finally brought down at the 43-yard line as Horvath steps outside, Bump. makes the pick. And that pass batted down at the line. And that last deflected pass was Smith's first incompletion of the day. This is Wells in the ball game. Smith with plenty of time. Wells out of the backfield with plenty of real estate. Down to the 10 yard line. Gives you a little taste of the speed. And now here's the other Wells. Chris Wells, the highly heralded freshman. Got about a yard down to the eight yard line. Some indelible images already, albeit early in this young football season. 21 nothing for Ohio State. You're watching ESPN on ABC. Second down. And goal to go. And it's Wells. Touchdown. Eight yards into the end zone. 
The Buckeyes have been extremely efficient on offense today. From the two yard line, it's Marcus Perez. They could use a nice return. Perez got rocked out of Playmakers. First down and 10. Huskies could use a couple right now. Wolf usually is one. And he gets the first down. Really, it's been the only bright spot for this Husky offense thus far. Leading returning rusher in the nation this year. They give it to him again between the tackles. He's brought down at second and seven. Out of the backfield. This is Clanton. And Clanton is brought down. Keep them early in the second quarter. Third down and seven. Let it go! The pass complete, but short of the first down. Did Benner shank the last one. And goes for the coffin corner this time. Where are they going to spot it? It goes into the end zone. First down and ten. Smith with a play fake. Pass complete to Gonzalez. They're not going to come out and line up and, and once they're going to run, they're going to shift to it. They're going to motion. They're going to do things to try to try to get you communicating. All right, AJ, hang on. We're going to run this play here. First down and 10 for the Buckeyes. The handoff is to Pittman. And Pittman brought down by his shoestring. When I, you know, walk in the door in Green Bay, I, I realized that the fans here are, are, you know, just as passionate as they were in Columbus. They care about the you know, for the most part, I mean, it, it, it's still football, you know, it's still 11 on 11, so I just, I just try to remind myself of that once I start thinking too much. Second down and 10. Run a little draw play to Pittman, and Pittman wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. At the end split to the top of your screen. Smith just barely got it off in time, and it's dropped at the 30-yard line. It has put... The Northern Illinois Huskies in a big hole early in this football game. This is the South African Ryan Pretorius in to attempt a long field goal, 52 yards. And he comes up just a little bit short. Gone are the likes of Josh Houston and Mike Nugent. First and 10 for Northern Illinois. Little counter, Wolf. Boy, he can make people miss. First down and 10. Garrett Wolf again. Picking his spots, he's so patient in the running game, and that's the result. Garrett Wolf with a stellar run, opening up holes for Garrett Wolf. On first down, Horvath underneath. He tried to heat, hit Wolf on the very resilient. Second and ten. Here he is again, stopped up. Third and thirteen. Wide open to the tight end over the middle. First down. Last time they came this deep into Ohio State territory, they threw a pick. That one incomplete. Second down and 10, a three-receiver formation. And they hand it off to Wolf. He's stopped up. He's in that game at Michigan. Third and 15 here. Horvath on the loose. And throws it over. He was 9 of 13 last year. On his career, he's 25 of 34. Looking for their first points of the afternoon. And he knocks it through. The Huskies get the three. And it's 28 to three. Joe Nendick comes in and puts the finishing touches on this drive. Not what they wanted, but they'll take three anyway. You're watching ESPN on ABC. You think they have the temerity to actually kick his way? <laughs> He is the most dangerous skill athlete in the game of football. I would kick away from him every chance I got. Well, he gets his hands on it, even though they did kick it away from him. And the Buckeyes are looking for a flag. Street on the call on that. It'll be a great weekend of college football. Here's Pittman on first and ten. A gaping hole on that right side, and Pittman power the ball action. First down and ten. There's Pittman again. Pittman with another first down. Out. Guys that have been in the program for longer periods of time and bringing the younger kids up, helping them develop. Again, 
With a nice catch, the ball at Notre Dame between the tackles. This team is so versatile the way they can attack. Second and six. There's one of the guys in their attack. Pittman is that guy. Our producer Bruce Clark had us thinking one A, not one double A. <laughs> Come on, Here's Bruce. Maurice Wells. January of 85. A five receiver empty formation. This is small. Race Smalls loads of potential and a, a lot of speed. Third and two, Chris Wells in the backfield. And there's the strength that we talked about. The potential is unlimited for this young man. First and ten. Flag down as Pittman goes down. Holding. Number 75, Ohio State. That hold's going to be against Alex Boone. Maybe an All-American this year. On first and 20 after the penalty, they set up the screen and well read by the Husky defense. Out of the shotgun. Smith completes it to Rubisky. Third and 10 coming up. The back's out of the eye. Troy Smith threw it behind Gonzalez. Had good lineage when it comes to place kickers here at Ohio State over the last five or six years. This one coming from 45 yards out. And is wide. Pushed it to the right. We're going to take a timeout and come back with more. You're watching ESPN on ABC. The interception thrown by Phil Horvath. That was an opportunity for the Huskies to narrow the gap. Horvath with the quarterback. So yes, I think we will see Dan Nicholson in the second half. He doesn't want that kind of treatment if he's going to go in as Horvath gets sacked by Jay Richardson. That's going to be the last play of the first half. A half dominated by the hometown crew from Columbus. It was an offensive explosion in the game's opening moments. Smith and Ginn and from We'll be joining John Saunders and the crew in our New York studio right after this. You're watching ESPN on ABC. Buckeyes will receive here in the third quarter. They tried kicking it away from him, and this time they'll kick it high to keep it away from Ginn. It comes down to O'Neal, and O'Neal, who's going to start for for Troy Smith at the quarterback position, and then Ted Ginn Jr., big playability being flashed in the first half of this ball game. Smith threw it behind his tight end for this offense as the year goes on for the Buckeyes. Third down and eight. And it's broken up at midfielder for Ohio State. Funny from his own 27. Perez calls for the fair catch at the 20 yard line for Northern Illinois. His team has dropped. First and 10. Little receiver screen here. Out to the 29 yard line. I get a chance here on second and one. It's Wolf. And he got the first down to the 32. You get it. There's a Smith back there in that red cap. First down and 10. A gaping hole in the middle. For Wolf, but you have a good time. Second and one. It's Wolf again. Nice surge up front. Type of success Northern Illinois has had up front at times. There's Wolf trying to get to the edge and does tiptoes out of bounds. Holding number 14, Northern Illinois, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down and 17. A little blitz coming. Nice pass by Horvath over the middle to his tight end. Two yards short of the first down is Horvath has really turned the program around. Six straight winning seasons. The play fake. And Horvath. Passer, number 99, Ohio State. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. It's noisy down there on the field for Northern Illinois, but they simulated noise during the last week of practice, but nothing's like the real thing. This is Wolf dancing between the tackles down to the 13. It's the first possession of the second half for Northern Illinois. And looking good so far. Wolf brought down 
behind the line. Important drive here for both the offense of Northern Illinois and the Buckeye defense. Oh, and they put it on the ground. Horvath fumbled the snap. And you keep those Buckeye starters on the field, which Jim Trestle is not looking forward to. Mendick in for a field goal, about 37. And he knocks it through, his second one of the afternoon, and it's 28 to 6. So they do get some points out of their first drive of the third quarter. Mendick drills at home. He's been consistent for them over the years. You're watching ESPN on ABC. Mendick will kick off with that shorter kicking tee by an inch this year. Turn, it's O'Neal. That's lining up out of the eye. Pittman is the deep back, and he gets the call. Pittman breaks it into the secondary. A three receiver formation. Smith with all day on the post. Incomplete. I tell you, I like that West Virginia Mountaineer Club, too, where Rich Rodriguez is. Here's Pittman trying to bounce it outside. And he is bounced and brought down. A couple one-loss teams end up in the title game. Smith complete to the tight end. Nickel. And we'll see a little light at the end of the tunnel. Fourth and one. Here we go. Wells will get the call and the first down and then some. The freshman. First down and ten. Wells again. Dadish, the bell cow in the middle. Great work up front for the Buckeyes on this drive. Out of the eye this time. And up once again to Wells. Got about nine on that carry. Here's Wells again. Got the first down. Some drive by the Buckeyes here. Wells still in. Wells gets the call and stops short of the end zone. Versatility at quarterback. Second and goal. Wells stuck and he put it on the ground. Fumble recovered by Northern Illinois. Reader got it. From their own four. They give it to Wolf. Nice cutback. We're in great shape. We, we finally got to find out where we are. And, uh, you know, it is full speed ahead like we've done since the day we've got. Northern Illinois, one of eight on third down conversions today. They dearly need this one. And it's almost intercepted by Malcolm Jenkins. Here comes the punt. Dick Benner gets off a low kick. Comes down to Gonzalez at midfield. Anthony Gonzalez. Northern Illinois 38 yard line. Troy Smith dropping back to pass. Complete for the first down. Five receivers on the play. Out of the backfield. It's small. And small. Now Pittman is back in a tailback after the Chris Wells fumble. And Pittman cuts it back against the brain and picks up the first down. It says it gives him more endurance. We'll find out as the season wears on. Underneath, complete to the tight end. Nickel lunging for the touchdown. Did he get it? No. He's so accurate as a passer as well. It's Pittman. Still no signal. Our presentation of college football will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations and watching ESPN on ABC. Guys knocking on the door again. First play of the fourth quarter, Pittman lunging in, scores. Antonio Pittman with the ninth rushing touchdown of his career. Situations, punches it into the goal. And Petri knocks through the extra point for the Buckeyes. It's 35 to 6. He's going to be the number one back this year for the Buckeyes. You mentioned Archie Griffin earlier. Only Griffin ran for more yards as a sophomore. Here's Davis on the return. Britt Davis trying to get outside and forced out of bounds. And that was the game winning score for Texas. I don't think that the Buckeyes haven't forgotten that either. Here's Wolf in the loose field. Garrett Wolf, one man to beat. And pulled down finally. By 
Garrett Wolf is going to make more than one All-American team before this year is through. No doubt, 141 with the meter running, adding to his total here. Wolf tiptoeing down the sidelines in career 100-yard rushing games. On the offense, 10 yards from the spot of the pile. First and 12. Pass underneath, complete to Clint. Looking forward to it. Second down and eight. Horvath buying some time and throwing it out of bounds. A lack of talent, both offensively and defensively. On third down and eight, they run the stretch play to Wolf. There's a flag down, and Wolf goes down to the game. Number 86, Northern Illinois. the clock. I have no choice but to go for it. Davis in motion. Orbath throws a dart and a great catch. First and goal for the Huskies. They've got to get to work. Wolf brought down a second and goal for Northern Illinois. Out of the backfield, Wolf, nice catch. Had to concentrate to rein it in. Third and goal here. Come with pressure. It's complete, but short of the first down. Wolf is the lone back beside Horvath, the quarterback. They're going to throw to Wolf. Got to make a couple of moves, and he does. Scoring the touchdown. What a shake. He stopped on a dime and didn't leave Ohio State any change. Nice move by Garrett Wolf. Here they go for the two point conversion. Horvath got rocked back at the 10 yard line and sacked. It's no good. Good tackle by Brandon Mitchell. The Buckeyes surrendering their first touchdown of the year just a few moments ago. Garrett Wolf with a shifty run into the end zone, and here come the Buckeyes on the kickoff return. There's a flag down at the 30 yard line. Holding number 39 offense of the receiving team. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the fire. First down and 10. Let's see what Troy Smith does for the Buckeyes coming back the other way. Pittman gets the call over the right side. Running over Downing and Barton. First down and 10 after that Pittman run. Pittman gets it again. Trying to take it to the edge and brought down to the 34 yard line. And then they'll line up in the eye and pound at you later on in the football game. Speaking of going up top, Ginn on the post, wide open. Brought down at the nine yard line by Alba Hansbro. And he has been deadly accurate this afternoon. On the run, this is Chris Wells. I think it might have been a different story last year against Texas right. if Troy Smith would have been playing in the two games that he missed. Second and goal, Zwick hands it off, and they fumble it. You see it happen when you switch quarterbacks often. They're going to whistle it dead. And Dan Nicholson now has entered for his first series for Northern Illinois. Nicholson played the last four games of the season last year. Hands it off to Wolf. That's a good play usually. Wolf using his blocker well. Horvath watching now. Out of the backfield, incomplete. Quarterback made a couple mistakes, but that's a baptism by fire when you come in and start at Columbus. Competes his first pass there. Third down and three. Only converted once today on third downs. Handed off to Wolf. And Wolf comes up short of the first down. Awkward situations and difficult situations for offenses that are trailing at the end of football games to get out on the field and not lose time on the clock. Garrett Wolf converts how early he'll go in the NFL draft come next spring, and, and that's Calvin Johnson. Right. Oh, nice throw, but it's incomplete. That was an offense early on, you could tell, was being coached by Charlie Weiss. Across midfield and brought down at the Atlanta. First down and 10 for Northern Illinois. Pass incomplete. All right, Matt, back here at second and 10. And Clanton got rocked. Been a very vociferous in their disagreement with the new rule. At least some have. 
Nicholson sacked back at the 40 yard line by Lawrence Wilson. And in the airport terminal. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> A high spiral that comes down to Ginn at the 16 yard line. Look out. Teddy Ginn has some serious intentions here. Uh, what might have been this afternoon for his Huskies. Maurice Wells on the carry for Ohio State. And Wells made it out to the 45. A little different. Second and three to go. About Ohio State's offense against that tremendous defense of the Longhorns down in Austin. Pass complete to Dukes. Yeah. Where Texas will say Colton McCoy don't go out and lose the football game for it. Interesting. He's going to have to make some plays next week. Uh, he's going to have to make enough plays in the pass game. No shame in losing on the road against the number one team in the country. Zwick completes the pass to the 35 yard line to race small. Well, 10 seconds to go. This one is cooked, glazed, and ready to be sliced as Ohio State. Will win its first game of the season here at Ohio Stadium. 35 to 12. With an offensive explosion in the first half of the ball game. We didn't catch the Buckeyes looking ahead to Texas, Mark. 35 12 the final. We'll be back with some final thoughts after this break and get some words from head coach Jim Tressel.